YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker. Got another Monday haul for you. Went to both of my savers. Well, I sound like a broken record, don't I? Uh, but I found lots of good stuff. Uh, found some old standbys and a few new items to try. And a few things I was going to look up in the store, but I forgot until I got the register and I said, eh, what the heck, I'll just buy them. So I did go to the auction this past Thursday. I only bought like four items. Three of them I kept. So the one item that I am going to resell is on the table. I will show that to you first. The other items I got were a uh, like a typing table with wheels on it. I got it for our laptop uh, for the shipping room. So I have a chair in there. So if I want to do any work, I can just roll the table over and uh, work on the laptop there. The other table I had in there did not move, and I want to sell that table. So that's why I got it. It was $5. Uh, my son's girlfriend was up this past week, um, and she likes old postcards. There was a box of old postcards I got and for her for $5. And they were from the 50s, 60s, and some in the 70s, so that was pretty cool. And I also got a picture and one of those, like, mem memo boards where it has the ribbon that's crisscrossed. Didn't see that had a stain on it. Uh, the picture my, uh, my son's girlfriend ended up taking uh, for her brother, and she said she would redo the board. So, yeah. So I gave those to her. What else did I get? What else did I get? I can't remember. My brain is just... So I'm sorry I didn't do a haul, uh, but I will be better at getting that done, I promise. So let's jump right in. I will first show you what I got at the auction. Uh, it was $10. Oh, I know what else I got. I got a Keurig. It was $10 and it was like brand new. They had three Keurigs that night, so I got a Keurig for 10 bucks, and it's working great, and we really, really like it. Um, this is what I got for $10. It is a TomTom Tom, uh, GPS Go 910. It is in very good condition. In fact, you open it up, and the main unit is not uh, wrapped up or anything, but everything below it is still sealed. The instructions, the booklet all the wires, the mount for the car. So it is essentially pretty much new. I'm not going to sell it as new, of course, because the box is torn up. But I will explain the true conditions. I'll make sure everything's in working order. It did turn on when I was there. So not too bad. Um, I got this uh, wooden carved. Uh, you hang it on the wall. It's got a mirror behind it. Um, it looks like it was Steinmart, uh, 18 down to 12.99. It was six. I got it for three. Uh, things like that always sell. People like the accents. Uh, they're just a pain in the butt to clean the glass around them. But hey, it is what it is. I got this awesome bust here. It is plaster. Um, I kind of thought she would need to be redone, but as you can tell, it's not chips. It's like little gold paint here and there so I think I might just take her straight out she was only $2.50 I keep saying I'm not gonna buy spring stuff anymore because the season's too short and confusing but I saw this and it's so cute it was $1.50 I will put that away this is one of the items I was telling you that I picked up I was gonna do the research and once I got in line I was like ah oh, I didn't look so it is a video for Proform um, uh, treadmills. So you watch it while you're walking, so you look like you're walking in the Grand Canyon. So that's pretty awesome. It was only two, so it is sealed. I'll see what that is doing, if somebody still even uses those. Um, so I figure for two bucks it was worth it. I got these two lamps. Uh, they were $9.99. They were half price, so it was 10 for both. Um, this part here is supposed to be glued on the top of here. This one is fine. Uh, this one came off, so I will have to do a little bit of doctoring, but look at the, the metal bottoms on these. They're so cute. 
So I figured that was worth it. I also got these two lamps. They are big mason jars, or should I say ball jars. Um, I don't think I'm going to keep the apples in them. It's a little too country-ish. So it was $5 for both. So, I mean, you could put like a burlap bow on here and put candle or uh, shells. I mean, there's lots of things you could do with these. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with those yet. But, I don't know, give it some time. Think about it. I'm sure something will come to me. I want to show you my tops because I have five here and four here. I didn't have enough room on my table. So this one was $3.49, I believe it is a 2X. It is an apartment nine, it's got these gold little rivets on it. So that was only $1.75. They had another one like it, but it was black, but it was like $7.99 and I said, no, cause this is just, it's a real thin shirt. It's nothing crazy fancy. Um, this is an avenue. It looks like a doily or some kind of embroidery, but it's like a velvet. Um, it was three, three fifty-three seventy-five. Uh, I didn't know this job would require math. Uh, Twenty-six twenty-eight. This one is a torrid. It is a three X. It was the same price. I kind of folded it so you could see the bottom. It's got this real light, like blousey bottom, so it looks like you're wearing two shirts. And it's lower, it has like an uneven hem, but it's lower on the hips. Very cute. Um, it looks like a sweater, but it is very thin. So it wouldn't be overly heavy if you wear something like that and you don't like, you know, heavy sweaters, even in the winter, like me. Uh, this is a Croft and Barrow. I usually don't buy them because, I don't know, they kind of look, sorry, old ladyish. Uh, 3X, this one was 350, very cute, like a paisley gray and black, so not too bad. So I think all these have a three quarter sleeve except for the apartment nine, it does not. Um, rest of the shirts, this is kind of a workout one. It is a 3X, Catherine's, it was 275, so it says courage, strength, beautiful, fearless, so. Just a little v-neck, gray workout top. Um, this one's very nice. It is a very nice cotton, got a linen feel to it. Uh, it is a Catherine's. It is a 3X, I believe. Is it? Yes. This was a uh, three and a quarter. Very nice, like, embroidery and lace on there. This is a Maggie Barnes uh, for Catherine's. It is a 3X, it was $4. It's more of a dressier uh, office attire, if you will. This is very cute, it is a Catherine's Essential. Liz and Me, which is Catherine's 3X, was $3.50, very pretty blue, and then it's got these little wooden beads on it. And then this one, which I'm thinking about keeping, it is a Woman Within, and it was only $3.50. It's a real nice light. A uh, speckly top. Very cute. Looks comfortable. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath. <laughs> I don't want to keep you on here forever, but I got a lot of good stuff to cover. I did manage to find this 14-inch pumpkin wreath. New in the box. I did open it up because sometimes people buy something new and then they shove something old in it and then donate it. Uh, it's in very good condition. Doesn't look like it's ever been used or out of the box. It was $6.99 and then it was half. So $3.50, that's going to go out right away. Uh, I got this real interesting jar with the handle on it. It was only $1.50. Uh, this little, uh, it's got like a jeweled eye on it, this bird. Be like the birds sing after every storm. It is just like a stretched canvas over wood. It was $3.99, so it was 2 I did get some 100% uh, cotton sugar and cream yarn. Uh, that's for me. That was $1.50. Um, these do sell. I don't ever really find them that much. But this one was just so bright and cheerful, I had to get it. Um, it was only $2.50. So I'll probably put that away till summer um, and uh, see how it does then. I got two paperweights. They were both $2.99 or $1.50. This one is the cat that has, looks like fish in its belly. 
And then this one's really interesting. It's got like a like a blue. Thought that was awesome. These I'm always telling you about, and I found some today. Uh, for $2.99 or $1.50, there's four boxes of pencils. Three of them are the Venus Velvet, 12 in each. Um, these are vintage. They are still in the box. This one's Eberhardt um, Van Dyke pencils. Um, this one, you can tell that some of them are different. I will go through and make sure they are what the box says. Even if they are short a few pencils, still sell them. People will still buy these. If you are a pen or pencil person and you find something you love, you know you want to keep buying it. And if you have to find it because they don't make it anymore, I mean, pencil quality probably isn't what it used to be. So for that, I could probably get about, I would say $15 a box. So that's $60 right there. So that is definitely worth keeping your eyes out for. Um, uh, yes, I already have this, <laughs> this soap dish. Yes, it got another chip in it. So yes, I bought another one for 75 cents. <laughs> I'm just doomed to keep buying these. But hey, at that price, I don't know. I just, I have to start just buying stuff that doesn't break in my house because that's, you'd think I had little children the way things get broken, but I don't. Um, let's see. Got some more cards to make uh, my uh, hang tags. These are cute with, with uh, some kind of common sun drop. Never would have told you that's what those are. So $1.50 make lots of price tags. Uh, you're a good, good father. This is a very adorable sign. Very nicely made for $2. Somewhere the primitive shop. Never heard of it, but that's pretty awesome. Evidently, it's in Dahlonega, Georgia. If you live there, I apologize for slaughtering the name of that. The only issue this has is this is loose, <laughs> so put a little, ooh, I think I just finished it off. That's okay. I'll put a little dab of E6000 glue on there, and we will be back in business, and I'll take that one out. I have this sign, Cherish the Simple Things. It's got a real cute kind of burlapy jute, um, you know, hanger on, and I'll make a nice bow out of that. These are real, this is the other item that I was like, oh, man, I was going to look those up. But these are definitely vintage -y. Uh four ninety nine for two of them, two fifty, or a dollar and a quarter each. Look at the even the font on the box for your protection. Chain burglar alarm. How cool is that? So this is quite old, as you can tell. Um, it looks like the original price might have been like eight bucks. But somebody had them at the garage sale. I totally would have bought this if I would have been at that garage sale. But alas, I was not. Made in Hong Kong. So you can tell that's vintagey. I don't know if they work. I don't know if people would be interested in them. But for $2.50, I thought that's kind of cool. Something different, unique. Um, I always like something that's a little bit odd, something you don't see all the time. And that definitely fits into that category. Um, these are pretty awesome. I haven't been to, I don't know, does Party Light even still do home parties anymore? Or do you just order from a catalog? I don't know. I haven't been. I don't know what their new stuff is. But I saw these, and as soon as I saw that little green sticker, I knew they were party light. They are awesome little metal lizards hanging on this leaf where you can put a, a tea light or a little votive uh, glass, and then it hangs on the wall. Isn't that totally cool? And there was two of them. So $2.99 each or $3 for both. Um, so definitely pick those up. Those will probably go in my booth. I always do my research um, online, get a baseline what I should sell it for in my booth if I don't decide to sell it online. So a lot of this stuff, I do my research, of course, first. Okay, here's my disclaimer on buying Vera Bradley. <laughs> yes, I've bought lots of Vera Bradley. Yes, I've made hundreds of dollars on Vera Bradley purses. Um, they don't sell like they used to. And I've been selling a lot of mine that I had. I've been, I still have some online. I'm going to be taking those down slowly and putting them in my booth. They sell anywhere from $18 to $22 in my booth. 
so yeah, I definitely picked these up. The things that I seem to still do well on with Vera Bradley are eyeglass cases, uh, change purses, ID holders, uh, wristlets, um, wallets. Those ex the accessories still seem to do pretty well for me. So uh, these will probably be going in my booth, but of course, like I said, I will do my research. These are both like shoulder bags. Let me move these. Real pretty green one, and then this one. Now, I got these from the second store. First store was regularly having these purses from $4.99 to $7.99. Awesome. Bought a whole bunch, made a lot of money, was great. Somebody different is pricing them at the first store because I have gone uh, in and just this Monday when I bought this stuff, I saw one hanging. It wasn't even hanging behind the counter. Very good condition, very pretty, very clean. $29.99. Now, I don't know who's pricing these, but they need an education. Because that's, even at half price, 15 there's not enough money for me to bother to just buy it and then just sell it to somebody else. That would be incredibly dumb to do that. So, not sure what's going on with that. But whatever, I'm not going to worry about it. These were $9.99 each, $5 each, $18 to $22. They will go in my booth and they will sell. So, yeah, that's the story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I did get this 31 bag. I don't buy a huge amount of 31 stuff. If it's very clean or looks new, I will. This was only uh, $1.50. It is like brand new little wristlet. One way you can tell about purses if they're you know newer or not been used a lot is the velcro is really clean uh, make sure of course you check all the zippers and and such to make sure it's in good working order this is the one of the ones that zips along the top and the side um, so that was a pretty good find black and white always seems to do really well in Vera Bradley as well as 31 or even if it's an off-brand, if it's really cute and it's that black and white, the real striking design, they'll sell too. Uh, this I was very happy to find. Sometimes when I find Lily Bloom, it looks like someone drug it behind their car for two miles and then donated it. <laughs> so, but this one was very clean and I'm like, wow, this looks like new. Uh, of course, it's the wristlet. It was, I think, $4.99. Yeah, so it was $2.50. So I checked the zippers and was looking through it. This is another way, if you can tell, wallets have not been used. Where you put the coins, it is clean. Because money is very dirty, and that would be filthy if someone had used this. So I'm looking through it, and I'm like, look at that. It's got the original tag. So yeah, this is new with tag. Um, it does say Sears on it, $24, yeah, so, I don't know, but I was very happy to find that, I'm like, yeah, I'll take that, so this is a nice one, it's got a place for all of your credit cards and money, and then, let's see, this side, this side, very clean too, so, yeah, I was very happy to get that, you know, Everybody says, oh, the, the thriftsters are figuring it out and they know how much everything is and they don't know everything. And when it comes to purses, they don't really know Lily Bloom. Uh, 31, they don't really catch. Sack roots, they almost never find. Those do really well. Um, uh, La Sport, I just sold one the other day for $24.99. It was that black one that looked like it had Flor de Lis, Flor de Lis in gold. Uh, remember that from a previous haul? That just sold. So uh, there are brands out there that people are still buying. So you just got to get educated and look for it. Because the thrift store, they're catching on to a lot of the reselling prices. But they don't know everything. And they certainly don't know about pencils. Uh, they don't know about other stuff. So, you know, they can't know it all. So keep looking, keep pricing, keep doing your research, just sit down for a couple hours, go through eBay and, and price stuff, you know, figure it out. You got to do your research. Um, there's lots of things to be had out there that can make you a lot of money. So, okay, I'm off my soapbox. I think I'm done with my video. I hope you liked it. 
leave a comment down below please let me know what you thought of my haul is there any particular item you like or you have any ideas on them or have you ever seen these before so weird um so that is all i got please give this video a thumbs up like i said leave a comment or question down below if you want to con uh you know message me you can send an email jen at pudgypicker.com you can follow me on instagram as well as twitter under the pudgy picker and subscribe if you haven't already why haven't you subscribed yet uh, if you're new, welcome. If you've been here a while, I'm not going to say if you're old. If you've been here a while, then I'm so glad you stuck around with me. And that's all I got. Now, I know I need to go get a drink. Not a drink drink, but a drink. Because I've been talking for 20 minutes and 49 seconds. So I will see you next time, guys. And until then, happy picking. Bye.